Hello people, hope you're doing great. This is me and welcome back to my channel. Well, I'm doing a triple draft today. I'm watching Naruto Shippuden episode 475, 476 and 477. Well, finally Naruto and Sasuke were able to seal Kaguya up and Naruto also threw Black Zetsu into that planetary devastation. Amazing, they both are sealed. However, our Hokages, all previous Hokages are also going back. Kasei of Six Pad and did the reanimation jutsu. So Naruto also bid farewell to his dad. That was kind of really emotional. I don't know what's gonna happen in these episodes. Maybe all these people coming out from Infinite Tsukiyomi and we see the aftermath of this war. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of looking forward to these episodes. All right, let's dive in. But if you're new to my channel, then do subscribe and drop some likes and comments on this video. All right, let's hop in. Oh, I think everyone's going back, all the previous Hokages. Yes. Sakura is holding Kakashi up. Kakashi's like all drained of chakra. Sasuke, why so serious? Everyone's emotional. We are leaving the rest up to you now, Kakashi, Sakura, plus Sasuke, and Naruto. Let's leave the rest of it to the next generation. I'm kind of actually happy that Hashirama had that closure with Madra. You too will probably find a different conclusion than we did. No, make sure that you do so. Yeah, I hope so too. Hopefully all the Kages accept this peace and nobody fights and no more battles or wars. Wait, what is this tree? Is it from Madra's dead body? I'm going back to Suirendo. All of us are finally going to be able to go back to our homes now. True, they've been sealed up for so long. I was thinking... You wanna go back to Killer V? I think I'm gonna go back to being partners with V. Even that annoying <laughs> that he does. What's your plan? I think even Kuro wants to go back to Naruto. He just doesn't openly want to acknowledge it. I'll... Accept it that you have a bond with Naruto. Go ahead, do that. In short, Naruto is like a gathering place for you tailed beasts. I'd like you to stay inside Naruto as the overseer of the gathering place. There you go! You got a reason! You got a good reason to stay with Naruto now. Well, I guess I'll do it if you insist, old man. <laughs> if you insist. <laughs> Just accept it that you love Naruto. Be honest about your feelings. You haven't changed, Kuruma. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't want people to know that he's a softie. Finally finished. The fourth great ninja war is over. <sighs> Finally. All right, Naruto and Sasuke. Is there any change to the answers you gave me? Well, we don't know Sasuke's answers, though. My answer is the same. Naruto possesses the chakra of every tailed beast, and Sasuke possesses the Rinnegan. So if they both they be assigned for rats simultaneously, the jutsu will be undone. All right, let's do it. It'll really be that easy. Believe me. Six sage of six months. I trust me. I've been doing this for ages. I know much more than you guys. No mistake. Very well then. All now, right, Sasuke, people. The rest is up to you. But before that, I'm executing the current five Kage inside the infinite Tsukuyomi. What? <coughs> what is wrong with you, Sasuke? But why all of a sudden? What did you just say, Sasuke? Everyone's like baffled as like, did they hear this right? And you tailed beasts. I'm putting all of you under my control and eventually I'll get rid of you as well. Are you serious? He's gone crazy. This man snapped. <gasps> he, he did that. He did that. Oh my god, all the tail beasts are in kind of genjutsu. No. The tail beasts under a genjutsu. I've no choice but to trust you to handle this. But, but why? I don't get it. I shall soon fade away. Yeah. And I'll apologize for this too, Six Pass Super Gramps. I just don't get it. Like everything was on track. The war was over. What has gone wrong with Sasuke all of a sudden? Why did he snap and why he wants to assassinate all the Kagis and kill all the tail beast? And I'm telling you, Toby Rama up in the air watching all this is like, uh oh, I knew this. I told you so. You can never trust in Uchiha. But it ain't gonna go like it did with your kids. Well, I don't know. For some reason, Naruto is awfully confident. Are you saying that you're still seeking vengeance? Why, Sasuke? Yeah, no. why? At one time, all that I wanted was to seek vengeance and destruction. And then but what now, are you doing now? Are different. 
I'll reform the shinobi world. What I'm talking about. No, I don't actually. It's Please revolution. explain. Revolution. Revolution. I would like to hear your honest thoughts and opinions. The previous Kage caused these circumstances. So I will become Hokage and change the village. Catastrophic planetary devastation! What? He do he's doing another catastrophic planetary devastation. Oh god. This is not good. But why? I, like we didn't hear his answers and he already started doing it. Why? Why is he trying to kill? Oh! He, he is, he's capturing all the team beasts. He's sealing them up in that planet in devastation like you know what they did with Kaguya. Just hang in there a little while longer, okay? Well, Naruto is awfully confident and I have no idea why and, and also I have no idea why Sasuke is doing this. And all those who are in my way are gone. So he was just waiting for this minute, like the perfect opportunity Except to do this. Except for you, Naruto. Except for you, Naruto, okay. When I decided to bequeath power to just one side, I ended up with Indra and Ashura. This time I bequeathed it to both. Yet it's, it's still, still the same. The same way. Exactly. They still end up fighting each other, still destroying this world, still trying to kill each other. Why? No way. This fight between brothers is gonna end here and now. How? But I don't know why Naruto is so awfully confident. He's like, this battle between brothers gonna end right now, right here, while Sasuke is just saying that I'm gonna assassinate all the Kages and you're the only person in my way and I'm gonna just kill all these tail beasts. Like, I don't know what his uh, idea of this perfect village or perfect uh, shinobi world is, which he wants to lay foundation after this revolution and the revolution actually includes killing people. So I don't know what people will be left in his village or in his land that he wants to actually restart again. First off, let the tail beasts go. I mean, they just finally got their freedom back. Oh, why would actually Sasuke agree to you? Like, he has no reason to do that. Just because you're saying you have a bond with tail beast. He doesn't. He just does. He never cared about anything in the world. I'm friends with all of them, so I can guarantee you this. They aren't going to cause trouble any longer. As it stands, you're now the Jinchuriki of all the Tailed Beasts. Plan to eventually get rid of the Tailed Beast Chakra and you too. He wants to kill Naruto too. Out of necessity. Out of necessity. For his revolution. The Tailed Beast power inside you. Is it necessary in order for me to release the infinite Tsukuyomi? I can just use the Tailed Beasts themselves that I captured. So basically what Sasuke is saying that he will assassinate all the Kages, but uh, Naruto is going to stop him. So first he will kill Naruto, then he will kill all the uh, Kages uh, in the Infinite Tsukuyomi. Then he will use this uh, Tail Beast Chakra that he captured uh, in the Planetary Devastation to release the Infinite Tsukuyomi. And once that is done, then he will kill all the Tail Beast. And all these people who came out from this Infinite Tsukuyomi, uh, after the Infinite Tsukuyomi has been released, he will establish a new village or new system for them and then probably he will become the hokage of all these people as expected i'll have to deal with you first naruto let's move He's this an obstacle. elsewhere take this elsewhere okay so they're going somewhere else to Wait, fight this Sasuke. battle it's just i i don't understand it's because of the destiny thing they have to fight this battle it's just because of the prophecy they have to fight this battle to eventually end this enmity between ashura and indra Sakura's like, why do I love this man? He disappoints me every Tell time. my heart that there's nothing I can do, even though I love you. Huh. I can only whine, beg, and cry yet again. It's so pitiful. It is. So stop saying anything to him. If there's even a little corner of your heart that still thinks about me, don't leave again. Please. Gosh, Sakura. You really are. Annoying. Still incredibly annoying. <laughs> <gasps> Did he kill Sakura? Finally, he killed her. Are you freaking kidding me? Eventually, this man killed her. Sakura. You didn't need to put Sakura under Genjutsu. Then she would have just oh, chased like after us okay. and gotten in the way. Sakura just wanted to help you. You're suggesting that I enjoy a romance. Too bad I have no reason to love her. 
Don't you understand? Sakura isn't even trying to make you hers. She only wants to save you. This she suffers from is loving beyond you. reasoning, Kakashi. What does father really think of us? How come we are here in this flashback? How is this relevant? The other day down on the dock, father said to me, that's my boy. Am I just someone to replace my older brother? When we're alone and no one's around, the only one that he talks about is you, Sasuke. So he's trying to compare his dad's love to somehow how Sakura's love him. See you later. Maybe Have how a his day. mother loved him. He's trying to compare his mom's well, selfless love perhaps to Sakura's selfless love. To a failed past. Don't you worry one bit. I'm gonna bring Sasuke back. You already know my ninja way, right? I'm yeah. gonna go. He's not gonna go back on his words, so he's gonna go after Sasuke. We're counting on you. We all are, man. Love had transformed into hate. What molded the current Sasuke is none other than his loss of love in the past. Madara was the same. So he's trying to say that Sasuke's version of Madara. I also want to make the future a better place in my own way. Having learned from my past mistakes that young Naruto Uzumaki Oh. Somehow that boy was able to save and befriend Kuruma. When Kuruma's hatred can be gone. I have hope that love can be regained. Oh, the final valley. How appropriate. Naruto, as well as Sasuke, knows what love truly is. So they will fight the battle here. Just like the last time, you're going to lose here. You're not going to be Hokage either. You don't even seem to understand what it means to be Hokage. True. Your big brother once said something to me. Let me tell you. Yeah. Becoming Hokage, Hokage. isn't all about getting people to acknowledge you. Acknowledge you. Only, Only the acknowledged. Only acknowledged will ever become Hokage. Hokage. Let me clarify this before we fight. Yeah, please. I'll teach you exactly what being Hokage means I'm all ears. <laughs> I don't know what got into Sasuke. I do understand when he first landed into this battle, he did say that he's gonna be Hokage and he's gonna establish a new system. But I didn't envision him uh, assassinating all the Kages and, you know, um, trying to kill Naruto and the Tail Beast. Well, to be honest, when we were hearing the conversation that uh, Naruto and Sasuke were having with uh, the Sage of Six Path, they didn't actually show us the Sasuke part and I was trying to guess what did he say. Um, and I did say that uh, Sasuke's answers cannot be what Naruto's answers were. Uh, Naruto's answers were about uh, keeping peace among all the villages and having this uh, common alliance and continuing, uh, you know, this shinobi alliance that they have established right now before the battle. Um, even then, I had that doubt that Sasuke's answer would not be like it would not be about keeping their lines but more on the lines of you know probably using drastic measures but i wasn't sure this is the drastic measure that he is thinking but to be uh, to be honest now that um uh, now that we are listening into what he's saying it should not come as a surprise to us because that is what sasuke is all about he has been very uh he has this um, narrow approach to things uh, and he sees things in black and white and that is what he's been doing all, all this while. So obviously he sees all these Kages of different nations as uh, potential threats because at any point of time any battle or any other war can be waged by one of these Kages in future, right? And uh, his ideas of bringing peace to the Shinobi world is much more like what Madra wanted to do which was a forced peace on everyone. Whereas as compared to Naruto who want to do, you know, negotiate and have this peace treaty among the nations. Alright, let's watch the next episode. Well, they traveled from that battlefield which was near to the Cloud Village to Leaf Village fairly quick. Naruto. Sometimes your eyes are even better than mine. Neji! Sasuke is in the darkness. You are the only person who can save him. So beautiful, they brought Neji here. Uh -huh. I just love the way they added Neji in here. Like a moment in the past where Neji is warning Naruto about Sasuke and telling him you're the only person who can take Sasuke's darkness. And then coming to this present moment. Masterpiece. Leaves. 
how Madra had that leaf in his palm. Itachi's life path led me to this answer. In order to protect the land of fire and the village, he sacrificed his clan and himself. So I first needed to know why. The previous Hokage said that the village is a framework created to stop the slaughter of many clans and children. True. Itachi was trying to sustain that peace all by himself, suffering in darkness as a criminal and traitor to land and village. He was a shinobi who took on all hatred. I feel that he was the true Hokage. Yes, absolutely, you can say that. It's not the one acknowledged by all, but the one who accepts all the hatred that is worthy of that title. But my brother made one mistake. By leaving me, his little brother, alive, I'm not like my big brother anymore. I have no father, mother, brother, not even a single member of my clan. I am alone. Okay. I will handle all of the shinobi problems. I shall also dispense all judgment and punishment. Emperor and of the shinobi world? Village under my control. Oh my god, so his answer to the peace to shinobi world is to be the emperor of the shinobi world where he impose a kind of dictatorship on people. So when he undo the infinite Tsukiyomi, all these people that will come out, he'll actually impose a dictatorship on them. He'll set out some rules and principles and he'll just rule them as a ruler of the shinobi world. And whoever does not follow his uh, laws or principles, he will punish them. So he'll be the accuser, judge and the executioner himself. Like he has taken that responsibility and that is how he's going to maintain peace in this world. Do you really think I did not everyone get that. will sit back and say yes to that? Right. I thought I there told will be a civil you war. Itachi wouldn't you want that. Do alone. Like our battle against Kaguya, remember? Yeah, you need you needed Naruto, so you but need it team, you need go well. comrades, like you with need these two people. stone statues. And with us two brothers. With revolution, the villages will no longer have to bear darkness. How? I will become the one and only darkness. I'll dispose of the deep darkness of the past and build a pure white future from scratch. You mean by killing the tail beasts and taking down all of the five Kage too? That's right. To me, the Hokage is someone who uses his own flame to sear away the darkness of the five villages. Do you really think I did not everyone get that. will sit back and say yes to that? Right. There will be a civil war. Itachi wouldn't want that. Do alone. Like our battle against Kaguya, remember? Yeah, you need you needed Naruto, so you need comrades, you need people. With revolution, the villages will no longer have to bear darkness. How? I will become the one and only darkness. Your blood will be the last that I shed. So he's in the saying the memory of my late brother. The memory of my late brother. He's saying Naruto is his last tie on this mortal world and he'll cut him off as well. Like, Won't he'll kill him. Let you. I learned everything I know from the people of my past. Only you can do it. You'll have to take care of Sasuke. Why, I won't let you kill me. <laughs> what? So he's saying, I'm not gonna let you kill me. Not because that I want to stay alive and not die. But because Itachi said that you have to take care of Sasuke. So to take care of you and to be your only friend so that you're not alone in this world, I will make sure that you don't kill me. Sage of Six Path is still here. It seems that it's almost time. Oh, so finally. Just continue to maintain faith. That is the only thing we can do right now. <laughs> Kakashi can't do nothing, so just pray. Pray to the gods. My version of the Hokage can only exist by severing all ties and being alone. Naruto's still who I'd call my closest friend. So, if I understand that correctly, Sasuke is saying that he still have that uh, feeling of love and care for Naruto because he is his closest friend or probably his only friend. And in order to establish his new world, he needs to be all alone. So, that's why he wants to kill Naruto to cut down all his ties. So, in other words, uh, Itachi had a weakness in Sasuke and Sasuke did not want to have any weakness. So, he wants to kill Naruto in order to have no emotional connection with anyone on this planet okay i guess finally the battle 
Oh, why are we in this flashback? Oh, that battle that started back in the Leaf Village and then this this battle. It's just like how Kakashi and Obito's uh, battle was. Starting from the past to the present. Wow. Is he using Naruto's uh, hand to make signs? Whoa, he used it to make that fire style. Wow, well Sasuke knows all Naruto's tricks, right? So he's using that to his advantage. He's not even letting him make hand signs. He's like blocking him. Oh, now he did. He made his shadow clones. Usual trick by Naruto. Wow, oh my god. Oh, that's summer salt. Okay. Rasengan. Sasuke is fighting uh, all of Naruto's clone all together. Sasuke is much stronger than Naruto. Whoa, that split. Oh my god, this animation is beautiful, this fight. Oh, he's using his Renegon. He can see all the moves simultaneously. Inferno style. Honoi Kazuchi. What? No! I guess there was no original Naruto in it. No, there was! He blocked it. He blocked it using his Nine Tails Palms. Cloak. Oh, Sage of Six Path Cloak. Okay. Oh, the fire. Oh. oh my god. This animation is sick. <gasps> oh! Oh, he just changed his places. But how did he... I blink and there is like new moves, so I can't even blink. <gasps> Suzano! Suzano's arrow! Oh, he's using his two speaker or to counteract those arrows. Okay. Oh, he went into Kuruma mode to fight the Suzano. Oh, that sword! Man, that sword landed really far off. I hope the village is fine. Oh, the fist bump. He's flashing back. Oh, this is Sasuke's place after his uh, after the slaughter. Like his loneliness. Oh, because they fist bump, they can actually see each other's feeling, what's happening, like what the emotions they went through, the loneliness they had in their childhood. So here, Naruto is all alone. This is what they're actually seeing while fighting with each other. Why are you guys fighting, man? Sasuke, you both suffered a lot as a kid. Oh, adult Naruto swing kid Sasuke. And adult Sasuke is watching Naruto, kid Naruto walking away. Oh my god, they're seeing each other's perspective when they were kid, what, what emotions they were going through at that point of time. They're seeing in each other's heart, right? This is what Ninshu was all about. They wanted to be friends, they wanted to talk to each other, but they did not. They're seeing each other's despair. And it made him angry. You were on your own right from the beginning! How on earth could you possibly understand what it feels like to lose all that? So now he even wants to cut down the ties which he has with Naruto. Because he doesn't want to suffer that hatred again. Oh, Suzuno is uh, doing fire style. Kuruma Chakra mode, he was dodging them. My goodness, the way this is going on. Whoa, I'm pretty sure this valley will be leveled after this battle too. Whoa, Sasuke, you asked for it, man. Oh, he grabbed his leg and he's gonna like bump him. Oh my goodness, it feels like Sasuke, you spoke too soon. No, he stopped. This time Sasuke is in the water, unlike last time. Whoa. Okay, so he is in the air now. If you keep stalling, you'll eventually die. Yeah, he stopped in the middle. I he didn't attack Sasuke. Kill you. Because he doesn't want to kill him, for obvious reason. You're trying to be alone again. But I'm not letting you do that. That's why I can't let you... Naruto's like, I know what loneliness looks like, and you also know that. I'm not gonna let you be alone anymore. Yeah, I'm not gonna let you go to that place that... Oh my god! They nuked the whole place up. I, I just hope, you know, seriously, the village is okay. All those people in Infinite Tsukiyomi, they 
are alive even after this battle and they have the village uh, and all these people that they want to protect just quit all your yapping this is in the We're nature both different from the two boys who fought here long ago Please. i need to cut you out of my life you're still missing the point for how long all five villages are actually united right now yeah it's an alliance going on yeah it's a but different that's only era. because they had enemies in common. The Akatsuki, Madara, ah, and Kaguya. Well, that makes sense. The five villages had no choice but to discard their grudges and form an alliance to survive. That is true, too. That you intend on becoming their next enemy? Is that it? But now I have the Rinnegan's powers, too. Including reincarnation, immortality. I have many options. For eternity being hated by everyone? Oh. Yes, to me. That's exactly what a Hokage ought to be. Okay, I get it. I get it now. So what Sasuke is saying that all these villages are united right now because they had this one eminent enemy which was common for all of them and Akatsuki started it but eventually Madara and Kaguya. So just to fight them, they were all together. But once all these enemies, like common enemy is gone, uh, there will be in future there will be a time when Yukage is coming to picture. Um, the the same thing, this plotting, planning against each villages will start. They will again probably try and grab one of those tail beasts and then uh probably you know kidnap uh people from each other's village to take or to to try and gain the Kekigen Kai or in any other kind of skill level or you know increase their arsenal and weaponry so basically Sasuke wants to act as this one enemy to all these villages and he's said something about immortality so he's probably somehow gonna attain that we know how you know uh, Uruchimaru is also working uh, for the same goal so whatever however he's gonna do that and uh, he's gonna just stay as this one eminent uh, enemy for all these villages until till eternity. So all these villages remain united forever and ever. While doing that, he will be hated by these people generations after generations because this is one big villain that they have in their life. They have to fight forever and ever. But because they're fighting Sasuke, they're not fighting among each other and there will be always peace among these villages and there will be not unnecessary uh you know rivalry between clans or villages so he's ready to sacrifice himself like what itachi did so he's literally following his footsteps being hated forever and ever but still working for the peace in the shinobi world well if you think about it that's very really generous of him if he's thinking in that way now it is unable to reason with Sasuke. He's trying to explain him there are other ways to attain it. But I also somehow agree with Sasuke that these villages may in future start the conflicts again. Oh, what's happening to these tail beast uh, meteors that he collected them into? What is he doing with them? I guess the plan was to use them to undo the infinite Tsukiyomi, but he's using them now against Naruto somehow. Well, Sasuke, At that's cheating. Moment, I'm the strongest in the whole world. Oh, because he's controlling all the tail beasts, he's the strongest. Okay. Oh. He's using the tail beast somehow. Oh, maybe he's grabbing the chakra. Whoa, what's happening to the Susano, man? Like the best version of Susano we're gonna see probably. Yo! Look at that! Look at that! That looks so sick! This man is killing it. So what's Naruto's next move? Huh? Kuruma clones? Naruto, that jutsu of yours is a symbol of your weakness. Yeah, because he's kind of distributing it's his a jutsu chakra. That only covers up your loneliness. Covers up your loneliness. But like, isn't that? But I, I kind of agree with Sasuke. It's a, it's a weakness, isn't it? He's like. Dividing his chakra into different clones of uh, Kuruma. Oh my god, that clone tried punching Suzuno. Nothing happened. Nothing happened, little. And he like <laughs> popped those clones into each other. Suzuno is literally trashing all those clones, man. 
Even Sasuke's one-liners are great. He's like, these clones are just your way of uh, not being lonely. <gasps> oh my god, inside the mouth. Like, that. Oh, they'll be bombs. Wow, I just love the animation, man. It's so amazing. Oh, they went in the sky. Oh, I, I, I just don't know what's happening. I, all I know is the clones are getting beaten up really bad. The arrow. The arrow, did you see? It just like broke into the uh, Dalby's bomb. And then went, oh no. No, is he gonna kill Naruto now? He is ever powerful. You ready yet? Kurama! I might have amassed too much, in fact. It's everything that's available. What? Here it comes. Kurama doing Seijutsu? Got it. Oh, he gave Naruto nature I energy. I suddenly gained so much nature energy. Kurama was doing that, so that was kind of a... Kind of a distraction by Naruto to, to fly up in the air so that Kuruma down on the earth can actually do the Seichutsu. Wow, brilliant. Oh, big Rasengan balls. He got nature energy. Finally decided to kill me, huh? I don't think so. I actually do want to fight against you, and I want to win fair and square. Not against the current two. Okay. Indra's arrow. Currently the most powerful jutsu in my arsenal. Die! Just be gone already! Another new bomb, right? Oh, finally those statues broke! Oh, what happened? They both died. Oh, thank goodness this leaf village or whatever these, this, you know, root sprouted from that divine tree and people are okay. Just being an infinite Tsukuyomi and you're dead. Oh, those, uh, that is like Hashirama and uh, Madra heads. It's also kind of a reference that, you know, the uh, Madra and Hashirama's time is over. Even like Indra and Ashura time is over. It's this new generation which is fighting right now. Naruto and Sasuke. The decisive battle. Okay, they both fell, but I hope they're okay. What's, it's buffering. Sasuke's okay. <sighs> They both lost a little bit of their clothing. You're still alive. <laughs> You'd have been toast just now. True. And your chakra's already been drained from the war. Oh my God, he's still doing Amaterasu. Yeah, he's been fine. Oh, he has. He took that off with the Nightingale chakra. But I'm saying they've been fighting now. for so long. I can't actually take him down with this. I've used too much chakra. I can't maintain control. At this rate, I can't use my left eye's abilities either. Oh, so they're out of chakra. That should have happened. They've been fighting for so long. All, you know, Obito, Madra, Kaguya, now each other. At what time are they gonna lose all that chakra? So now they've resorted to finally hand to hand combat. Oh! Wow! He had those shurikens! Uh, so it's like Rasengan versus Chitori, the original ones, the original Jutsus. Anyway. What? <laughs> Ooh, that was a good kick. <laughs> what? All those punches? This is more like Lover Spat now. It, it actually reminds me of that movie Hancock. <laughs> Oh, so from all that, you know, jutsus that they were doing, Suzuno, Ninetales, Cloak, whatever, whatever, now they went down to the basic ones. Okay, let's just beat the beep out of each other. <laughs> Give it up. To the last Hurry. man standing. Naruto! <laughs> Yo, oh my god. out now make the unison sign what happened in that battle did Sasuke win again now make the unison sign 
So we're going back again to unison science. So I'm assuming there must be some relevance to it. <gasps> oh! <laughs> You're finally awake. She's out of genjutsu now because Sasuke is drained of chakra, maybe? It's dusk already. It's dusk? So they fought the entire day? Where are Sasuke and Naruto? Because that time it was morning. Right now. It was also Naruto's Naruto. birthday. Oh my god, Naruto is literally fighting his best friend on his birthday. That's Sasuke's present for Naruto. Let's fight each other and I'll kill you on your birthday. So the future generation just remember one day. Your birth anniversary and death anniversary on the same day. It's like they're not even landing the blows on each other. They're so tired and exhausted, drained out of chakra. They try to get up and then the punch will land on the side and then one of them is in the water. Why are you guys even fighting? Just rest up, take a break and then start again in the morning. And I don't know when was the last time they had any food. I didn't see anyone eating throughout this entire battle, however long this battle was going on for. Aren't you guys hungry? Take a break. I just love the way they've actually shown this battle. It was so emotional and then so many action filled sequences and then coming back to this point where they're drained of energy, they're still trying to fight and you know, punch and kick each other. Oh, it came to a halt now. Finally. So who lost? Who won? Oh, that happened in the last battle too. Naruto's headband. It's not much, but I've got some chakra. Call it a truce. Sasuke took this Naruto's chakra. Of the many abilities. To steal As chakra? Somebody who possesses the eyes of the Uchiha, my victory is inevitable. For how long is he gonna trade on Uchiha name? Now. He got his chidori back because he stole chakra from Naruto. Finally, be alone, friend. <laughs> What? How did Naruto punch him and what happened to Sasuke's Sharingan, the reflection that he that saw in the nice headband? Counter. You noticed that his visual prowess had weakened. And that's why he could punch him and get out of the way of Chidori. Oh. Sasuke's like... It's frustrating fighting you, Naruto. Why don't you give up? Over! And over and over. It's so and frustrated. Over and over again. Me cut you down already. Why would he give up? Why would he like uh, die on purpose? So Sorry, stupid. I can't do that. Cause I'm your one and only friend. <sighs> I'm losing my patience now, Naruto. You wanna live for yourself, dude. Just not for Sasuke. Oh, that. Oh. Where did he get that chakra from? Sasuke took the chakra that I got for you and made it his own. Naruto, I will give you what's left of my chakra. Okay. That'll put me to sleep. <sighs> Why is he smiling? What? Oh, he didn't ha Did he have a fist bump with this part of Kurama earlier? I guess so. Like Naruto's like, don't worry about me, Kurama. Part two. I know how to manage Sasuke. When you couldn't even save Sasuke. I will find a way to save Sasuke. I'm gonna come after all of that hate that's inside of you too. I was also questioning why is Naruto so awfully confident. Now go. He answered that question. For us too. It's like when you question your fate, obviously. That's why Sasuke's. Sasuke is coming for Sasuke's hatred. Sasuke is gonna. Accept his love. So this is the last final moment, is it? Huh? Is that Jiraiya's hand? Oh! So all these people, all these people in his life is giving him energy, giving him power, like that is what Naruto is symbolic of. Like, he always keep everyone together. Hey! One minute. I'm just gonna see this scene again. I guess that's Itachi's arm too. Isn't it? So, 
basically this beautiful short verse about how Naruto has all these people behind him. Uh, he's always about teamwork. He's always about, you know, keeping all these people together. Whereas Sasuke said that I'm going to be all alone. I need to, you know, sever all ties and I just want to be alone. But his brother Itachi, even when he was dying, he said that I will love you always after this, whatever happened, I will always love you. So this, this is kind of symbolic of uh stating that itachi was always with sasuke even in this minute he is supporting sasuke whereas naruto is bringing all these people that he calls his family and his friends and all that past version of naruto to past version of sasuke coming and meeting in present this is just the most beautiful episode of all the episodes that i've seen so far all this battle all together, battle of ideologies. Oh my god, finally the rest of the statues is also completely destroyed. This is again another nuke and the valley is completely leveled now, I'm pretty sure. Hmm? What was that? What? They cannot end it like this. What is this? So I watched like three episodes and there is still no conclusion. What happened? Did they both die? Are you telling me they both are dead now? After fighting so much. This was like the battle of ideologies. And I was hoping Naruto would win. But... What a cliffhanger, man. What a cliffhanger. I'm so disappointed. <laughs> This is not done. Uh, maybe they just want to end the series with both of them dead and probably um, because uh, they both are dead, maybe Infinite Tsukuyomi will be undone and Kakashi becomes next Okage. What happens to Sakura? Sakura marries Rock Lee <laughs> and they all live happily ever after. Well, I would probably go mad if that is the ending. <laughs> Anyways, okay. Very, very beautiful three episodes, wonderful fight, the way they showed past connecting to present, this battle of ideologies, how Sasuke wanted to be left alone, but he always had Itachi with him. Uh, Naruto having the support of all his uh, friends, comrades, team members, his village members, all these people from across lands uh, with Naruto. Naruto was an incarnation of Ashura and we saw how Ashura wanted, Ashura was one person who would like to keep everyone together and always have these um, people um, joining hands with him in his uh, go uh, to achieve his goals. Similarly, Naruto followed the same path. Whereas Sasuke, Madra followed Indra's path, who wanted to be alone, be this ever powerful person, wanted to control the world with his power and wanted to dictate his terms to the people instead of having negotiation with people. Hmm. So I loved subtle details they put like Neji in there, starting with Neji, then uh, Sasuke and Naruto knowing each other's jutsu, so Sasuke was blocking Naruto uh, so that he doesn't have uh, shadow clones. Then uh, Naruto knowing uh, Sasuke's advantage and took him up in the air so that uh, Kuruma can actually do Seijutsu down. Um, and then right in the end where they have, they showed Itachi's uh, hand with Sasuke and all these people uh, with Naruto. There were like very beautiful references and then this unison sign, I'm pretty sure there will be some reference to it in the next couple of episodes but they emphasized on the unison sign too. And then they, while they're fighting because they had that fist bump and this ninja was all about knowing each other's heart and they know each other so well. They're seeing each other's memory, they have understood each other's loneliness and still they're going on with this fight of ideologies and, and it's all happening on Naruto's birthday by the way. Hmm. Well, very beautiful three episodes. I love everything about it. I hope in the next two episodes we see conclusion of this battle between Sasuke and Naruto and finally Sasuke agreeing with Naruto and accepting Naruto's uh, way of uh, bringing peace to the shinobi world and leaving his idea of living in this darkness, living all alone and walking this path by himself, enduring all that pain. So hopefully he'll accept the love uh, Naruto is offering him and 
comes to the village back and they all live happily ever after. I'm hoping so. Alright, I'm gonna wrap it out here. Do drop some likes and comments on this video. Do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And all my reaction videos available on Patreon much earlier than YouTube. And you can also send me a high five on Instagram or Facebook. Alright, then I'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye.